When it comes to cooking, there's more than just cooking. I mean, you could say you're a baker, but that means you're still a cooking person. It means you still cook. So I like to do different things than just cook regular food, like beef wellington, macaroni and cheese, ramen noodles, or or eggs, or something else, or even vegan food. I like to bake a lot. So today's video is gonna be based on Canada. The first thing that, that comes to mind when I think of Canada is that we are above United States. But that's not the reason why I'm doing this video. Not because we're just above United States. But I'm doing it because the colors red and white and the nice maple leaf as you can see on my shirt here. So today I am doing cupcakes with a red and white frosting to represent the Canadian flag. That is what I'm doing today. So let me show you the ingredients you need to create this yummy, delicious food of cupcakes that are gonna taste mm, amazing. Like literally that you'll be like, wow, I didn't know this could taste so good. So let me show you the ingredients. So the very first thing you're going to need is your sugar. A nice cup of sugar, as you can see right here. That's the very first thing you're going to need. You're going to need one and two thirds of a cup of flour. I'm using gluten-free flours because then my mom can eat it. And uh, I wanna see what's gonna happen with it. I've never done a gluten-free cupcake, so we're doing that. You're going to need one cup of butter, which is equal to two full sticks of butter or blocks of butter, depending on how you do it. You're going to need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That is correct. Vanilla extract is the way to make it a vanilla cupcake and it's going to taste amazing. You're going to need two tablespoons, two tablespoons of milk. I'm using coconut milk because my mom can't have the regular milk and this way she can enjoy it too. You're going to need four eggs. Yes, that is correct, four eggs, four eggs. And then you're going to need your baking soda. Your baking, well, baking powder. My mistake, not baking soda, baking powder. You're going to need a tablespoon. Wow, I can't talk today at all. I'm going nuts. -o. A teaspoon of baking powder. Let me get that straight this time. Baking powder, one teaspoon of it. That's all you need to create this yummy, delicious pancake. Uh, pancakes, wow. Cupcakes, I am so sorry, I cannot talk today. So today I am using a mixer, a nice good mixer. Not like one of those hand mixers, a nice good KitchenAid mixer. So the first thing you wanna do is add your butter in like I have done, and you want to slowly get it going. So you're gonna put it on a low setting if you're using a mixer for this. Oh, I haven't even plugged it in, wow really shows when you don't plug it in you can't really do much <laughs> okay so let's get this going okay as I do this I'm going to be adding in the ingredients so you're gonna see them pop in okay so first we mix the butter and our sugar so that's what we're going to do slowly add it in okay mix in the butter we slowly add the sugar to this. That's the first thing we're going to do. Now we're going to add in our baking soda. Baking powder, why do I keep saying soda? Baking powder. There we go, there's that. Now we'll add in the milk. Now the vanilla extract. 
for flavor. And the last piece of all ingredients is the flour. Slowly but surely you add it in. And there we go. We got it all mixed in. And you just let it go for a few seconds here. And now we're gonna check the consistency of it. And we're gonna scrape the side. We're gonna scrape everything on it so we get everything good to the way we want it. See how watery that is? Like it's not really watery, it's liquidy. That's how you want it. Mm. That's gonna be good. My gosh. Oh wow. Sometimes the machine gets a little dirty, but that's okay. So we're gonna scrape this all off as much as possible. So we can use it all, because we wanna use it all. Every little thing here. Okay, so that's good. Now we're just gonna turn it back on for a little bit longer, for a few seconds. Lock into place. We're gonna put it back on two. We're gonna let it go. And we're gonna put it to four. And it's almost done. That's it. And it is done. That's it. We've made our dough. Well, our batter. Not our dough. We're not making we're not making cookies here. We're making cupcakes for crying out loud. Wow. I am going so blank. It's unbelievable. So we'll remove this. I'll remove whatever is left. And here is our bowl. And here's our mixture. We're just gonna move this out of the way a little bit. And there's our mixture. As you can see, it's great. And we're just gonna scrape the sides when we're dumping this into our cupcake molds. While the oven is heating up at 350, because you need this at 350. Hold on one sec. That's better. I like that so much better. When it's heating up, while the oven is heating up to 350, we are going to add coconut oil into our molds here so that they don't get, so they're non-stick, so it doesn't stick. So we got a brush here, we got a coconut oil, and we're gonna do this to all the flowers as the oven is heating up. So let's go. Just get that all in there. Just like that, you just make sure it's all in there. And now we're going to dump our, well, we're gonna add our batter in here. So, here's the thing. If you can see on these little flowers, I don't know if you can. Okay, let's see if you can see. Uh, yeah, right. If you can see, there is a ring in there. That's how much to tell you how much you actually need to put in there, how much batter you really need to put in there. It's a little too much coconut oil in there. Okay, it's just an example, like it gives you an idea of what you're dealing with. So here we go. We're gonna take our spoon, and we're gonna start filling up the batter into these cupcake molds. See, that would be about three quarters full. So three fourths full. Okay, 
they are finally done. Now we're going to add them into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Depending where you live, it, um, like in the world, you could be above sea level or below or just sea level. So depending on where you live, you might have to cook your cupcakes a little bit longer, a little bit less, or just about the right amount of time. So I say 15 to 20 minutes, but that could mean that you might have to cook them for 25 minutes just because they, because you live above sea level. But don't go based off past, don't go past 25. If you're going, go 20 minutes at most and then if you have to go about two more minutes and then leave it at that because you don't want to burn the bottoms even though you can't see the bottoms you might burn the bottom of your cupcakes and you don't want that to happen so at most 22 minutes at most but about 15 to 20 minutes so look at the top to see if it's nice and golden brown at 15 minutes and if it's not then go 18 and if it's still not done at 18 then go to 20 and if it's and if you still don't think and you want to be extra sure then go to 22 minutes but also use a toothpick or a knife to cut into the middle of your cupcake like straight down to see if it is fully cooked because when you pull out the knife it's going to come out gooey or it's going to come out like there's nothing on it or a little bit of something on it and if it does then it means if it's gooey it's not cooked if it's not gooey and it's like the knife is still like a plain knife then it's good to go so remember to do that and check on it uh, at 15 18 and 20 minutes now i have taken them out and as if you can see let me see if you can see this, they look a bit odd on top, okay? That's because I put a little bit too much coconut oil on uh, inside of it, but that happens. It happens, you don't, you don't expect it to happen, but it does happen. So now we're just gonna let them sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and then, well, actually for five minutes. We're gonna leave them in there for five minutes, and then you're gonna take them out, and then you're gonna cool them off fully so that we can add the icing we want on top of it. Okay. So I have taken some of the cup cupcakes and put them on the side so that I can decorate them. So we're gonna start with this one. Now, I'm gonna decorate them with two different colors, red and white. Even though it's more pinkish, but it's still red, more red than pink. And we got two different colors. So I'll show you what happens when we deal with two different colors. See, it comes out red and white, just like that as we want it to happen. So I'm gonna do uh, three more and then I'm gonna put some sprinkles on top of it as I'll show you so you get a good idea of how it's supposed to be. Maybe a little too much icing on that one, but that was fun. That was cool to at least try it. So there you go. You got, we got our cupcakes. We got them two different colors. They're Canadian cupcakes because they're red and white, but we got to add the sprinkles. So to make these sprinkles much more interesting, they are, let me show you really close. They, they look almost like white sugar, but they're not. They're crystals. So you just add a little bit on them so that they show up. You wanna add them on the white, on the, uh, the red part, I mean. Well, I haven't been able to talk properly today. You wanna to add them onto the red because they'll show up the most, but you can add them on the white a little bit, but red will show up the most. And you see, there you go, they show up. And there you go, you got Canadian made, Canadian made cupcakes. Just look at that, red and white for Canada Day. It's perfect. Perfect as can be. I hope you enjoyed watching this new video of making Can Canada Canadian Day cupcakes. Well, I can't talk today. I'm having the hardest time talking today, but I enjoyed doing this. It was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed it, please hit that 
thumbs up button. Also, subscribe below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. We are the most lit cooking channel out there, even though it doesn't show that I have a lot of subscribers, but we are the biggest cooking squad of all. So please, share this with your friends, family, and all your social medias, and don't forget to comment below about this video if you enjoyed it. Also, remember, you guys are awesome, you guys are amazing, you're one of a kind, you're beautiful, and thank you for being part of Cooking Squad, and the most important thing is remember, keep calm and cook on, and also, last important thing, tomorrow is gonna be an episode, uh, well, it's called a mini episode, so stay tuned for it, and I'm thanking uh, Michael Kane for the idea of this mini episode that I do in between the days that I do my regular videos. Uh, so it'll be every Tuesday and Thursdays. So stay tuned for that starting tomorrow. And that's it.